So you always want to make sure that you have a clean griddle to work with, right? That's important. So scrape it, clean it, and just use a little bit of oil. Here I'm using some avocado oil, very little. Using my spatula, spread it around. What I have here is some uh, ribeye left over from the night before. Um, it was about eh, medium rare, maybe more on the rare side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to warm it up real quick. And I'm going to use this as my meat base. And it's just a matter of just mixing it up real quick. And then I'm going to, I'm going to push it off to the side on the uh, cooler side of the griddle. Here I have some broccoli, carrots, and some green onions. Um, I had another thing of green onions chopped off onto the side for the missus because she likes just nice cold green onions to put on top of it. So just give it a quick little mix, and you want to kind of get it into a nice little, I don't know, mound like this here. All right, what I'm doing is adding uh, some toasted sesame seed oil and some uh, soy sauce. You have to use toasted sesame seed oil. It's It, it really does make a difference. It's that good. All right. Um, I do not have an actual recipe on this. This is me basically cooking from the hip. We have some heavy winds coming in tonight, so I wanted to get an early dinner done for us before the winds hit because it'd be pretty darn near impossible to cook in uh, 50 mile an hour gusts. So I'm gonna, uh, what I'm doing here is just kind of, you know, setting up my mound a little bit so I can put the top on, give a little bit of a, you know, slight little steam um, just before I add a little water to it. Now remember, just because of what I have here, you can use whatever you want, you know, for making this. I'm using the Fortune uh, Yakisoba noodles. They're they're perfect. They have all different kinds of flavors, from you know teriyaki to uh, soy ginger, and here garlic. All right, I'm using a lot of garlic because we like garlic. I'm gonna mix it real well, and then I'm probably gonna steam it again. Um, but it's up to you. Use what you want to use. You know, you know what you like. Don't go off of what somebody else is telling you. Oh, this is, you know, this is how you have to do it. No, it's not. Okay, get on there, cook, and have fun with it. As you can tell, I'm still pretty much a novice with the spatulas, but uh, I'm trying. I believe the channel is John Burnett. Um, that guy is, he's, he's awesome. I love watching him cook. And I uh, used a lot of the stuff that techniques he uses, probably not as well as he does. But I put that back on to let it steam for a little bit. And then I'm going to mix all the, you know, the vegetables and the meat together. And I'll end up uh, pushing it off to the side, the cooler side. Now, as for temperatures, I'm not going to tell you temps. Um, it's been pretty tough for me to get really good, stable, accurate temps, temps on this. What it comes down to, it's like a lot like when I use my cast irons. I kind of go off of feel, and you kind of go off of your uh, seventh uh, cooking sense. And you work from there. If it's if it's not hot enough, turn it up. If it's too hot, turn it down. So everything's getting pushed over to the cooler side. And uh, I like to get everything off the spatulas. Because that's, that's some good stuff on the spatulas there. Yeah, you won't be seeing me working in a Japanese restaurant anytime soon. But <laughs> I was having fun. So we have the noodles, and what I did is with the uh, Fortune uh, um, Yakisoba noodle packet, it comes with its own little seasoning, and it says to add a half a cup of water. So what I did is I took a half a cup of water, took the seasoning, put it into the water, mixed it up really good, added that to the noodles to help, and then I just kind of for about 10, 15 minutes, just occasionally just stirred the noodles around to kind of break them up a little bit and have all the seasoning on there. And uh, dumped them all right on there. You probably saw me pushing some of the fluid back to the back side of the griddle. And um, 
that so I could, when I'm stirring this, I can push the noodles back on there and, and, and get that sauce. I'm probably just being a little too, uh, ain't a retentive on that, but nonetheless, hey, I was having fun. But as you can tell, the noodles broke up real nice. This is probably about my fifth time making this dish, and uh, it's getting easier each time. It seems a little intimidating at first, but once you do it and you start doing it and you keep doing the different dishes, especially cooking on the griddle, you'll get comfortable with it and you'll get used to it. So I'm going to break up all the noodles here because I'm probably getting ready to mix everything together like I did. Right there, one big lump. And um, get your bowls, serve it up, be good to go. Get some uh, frozen egg rolls cook them on the backside. Enjoy and have